baby, we're here. We are here. Lord have mercy, would you? Woo, and it's a muddy dog, and we got the Freddy boy. That's a good dog. Come on, let's go. Packed up, got the blammies. Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to a freaking another one. Today is a very special day. G Wagon, myself and Frederick out here for a two man banger. Uh, we're on a very, 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 very special uh, sheet water hole. Uh, the sheet water hole. Uh, back 10 plus years ago, it used to hold water every single season. Uh, very rarely hit and miss seasons that it does. Seems like when it does, it's just early season, but uh, we got a lot of rain over this past week weekend and it's full. I personally have never hunted here, always dreamed of it, and we leased this bad boy yesterday. Have you ever hunted here? Yeah. Once? Uh, two or three times. Two or three times? Always for you always hunted the good stuff. Anyways, I'll show you when the sun comes up. It's amazing. I'll give you some more info about it. We got Freddy. It's his first hunt of the season. He's ready to rock and roll. Had to cut back on his diet and shed him some pounds before we got him out here. But it's sitting at 55 degrees, north, northwest wind, seven to nine mile an hour. First off, ducks, guys, always linked down below. We got a ton of new hats ton of new hoodies, new camo patterns. We got the golden tooth choke available. Use code Bob at checkout on all of our new products over there. We have the brand new dry gun case floatable. It's amazing, amazing dry ankle boots. You gotta check those out. Use code Bob to save you some money. It's always linked down below. Ducksbucks.com, baby. Yeah. I understand that. Oh, it's looking good out. We can shoot. All right, we're ready to roll. It is 6.54. The shooting light was another dove. Four minutes ago, we got, I don't know, about 10 teal on the water in front of us. Two big ducks. Just had a flock of dove almost smack us in the face. Another dove. Here we go. That old Freddy boy. You ready, buddy? He's already biting at the bit to get out of this kennel. Out the back <laughs> is insane. it? Look at <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Two pintail. One teal. One teal. No. Is he going to come around? I'll back you up if so. Get in here. He's trying to become a pintail. <laughs> pintail. Oh, here's a flock on the left coming. Oh, they're going to those other ones over there. There you go. Yep, get them. Oh my god. Rip. Oh god, we tore them up. Reload. <laughs> Hold on, Fred. Stop freaking out. Did you kill one? Yeah. Nice. Missed the other two. Did you? <laughs> they landed. We just got to sit there and watch them for a minute. What do we do? What do we do with our hands? Ready, Freddy? He's ready to go. Back. Nice. Now, dead bird. Good boy here. That was sweet. That was fun. We're filming. Good boy. Drop. Fred, dead bird. Here we go. Green winger. Really? Yep. Green winger. Good boy, Fred. That's a good bull. Hey, here. We got one more out there. Drop. Another green winger. Good looking green winger stud muffies. Cool. Fred, here. Here. Heel. Right here. Heel. Fred Dudbert. He's on it. Yep. Good boy. He's loving it. He says, Dad, this is my shit. Come on, buddy. All green wingers. Good boy. That's some mud. Look at him. Drop. New truck's going to look green. <laughs> yeah. This is his first day in the new truck in the back seat. Another green winger. Heck yeah. Good boy. Good work. Now go kennel. <laughs> Get your hole. Good boy. Come here. 
Good boy. Nice. That was sweet, dude. They just landed in the muffin. Yeah, I shot bad. Did you? Good on the first shot, bad on the two. Oh, I couldn't I see was... him against like the dark. Yeah. I was like, I'm getting ready to slay some floaters. <laughs> <laughs> Walmart special. Yeah, those are all Walmart teal decoys for surely. I'm not too worried about them. Open the door open. Oh, Freddy, you magician? No, no. Oh boy. Oh, well, I don't know what to tell you, buddy. <laughs> all of our birds came in the morning. Here's a sheet water hole though. I wanted to show you guys. We're on a little peninsula here that rolls out into the middle of it. Water on both sides of us. This hole, man, I have admired my entire life. Uh, Gerald, like he said, had hunt, hunted it back in the past when he was younger. Uh, two or three times. But um, I got to know, I, I've actually known uh, the farmer's son. I uh, went to high school with him, grew up with him. And uh, they were up for leasing it. They're like, "Hey, sounds good. Heard heard great things about y'all, and let's give it a go." And I'm like, "All right, let's do it. We'll make it right for you." So, shot three birds. Probably should have shot a little bit more off of the main rip that we had, but we haven't seen a till since. So, this uh, the sheet water hole had yesterday evening. Gerald found it with approximately 200 plus teal on it and big ducks. So. 200 to 300 250 probably said they started here where we set up they scattered across the whole middle of it um, but i don't know if they were just brand new birds riding that cold front and they're already out of here south of us by now but we haven't seen anything so what we're going to do we're going to continue the video here fred place go on load up fred no no load up let's go good boy uh, we're going to continue the video i'm going to take the argo the cornhole, y'all know the cornhole. You haven't seen it in a while, neither have I. With it being this muddy, I haven't got to check it uh, just because I haven't pulled the old Argo out. But now that we have it on the trailer and hooked up, we're gonna burn over to the cornhole number one. We're gonna check two or three different spots, keep the video going here, see how much water they have and see if they're holding any birds, baby. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Before we get going, I wanna show y'all that haven't seen it. The new Blammy, the Otis Arms, dude, amazing gun, three and a half inch gun. Whoa, don't fall. Carbon fiber, uh, front stock, rear stock, uh, illuminated, rechargeable with a USB uh, front sight, amazing gun. Guys, Otis Arms is always linked down in the description, otisarms.com. You can use my link, you can go to their website, but if you use code BOB25 at checkout, you will save 25% off of these sweet shotguns. I absolutely love them. I would not be plugging them as hard as I, I am if I didn't truly put my name on these. Uh, this is a lifetime gun, lifetime warranty on this bad boy. With the 25% off Bob25 code at checkout, you save $450 on this gun. They have a lot of different styles, a lot of different ones. Uh, they're getting ready to come out with the lefty version and 20 gauges. So. Uh, stay on the lookout for that can't wait to get the 20 in my hand but uh, i promise you will not be disappointed with this if you have been looking for a new gun this is the one this is the one otis uh, i am very pleased with it haven't had any issues and i love it more than my benelli i'll be very honest it's comfortable what do you think fred what do you think buddy Wish we would have got more ducks, bub. We'll try again tomorrow. That's a good bull. Alrighty, I'm trying to sneak in. But the aluminum trailer behind me with the Argo on it isn't too sneaky. What do you think, Fred? Fred? This is the first time Fred's been in my new truck. <laughs> I do not have a seat cover, as you can see. Luckily, I had a towel in here. So he could sit on we are pulling in uh to uh the other new sheet water spot that i acquired this year uh just about a couple weeks ago we hunted it i brought my son bodie that spot all of y'all that see the sheet water we have 
very new very new this was all from this weekend oh there is a coot it's cool uh, but this is where I brought my boy Bodie uh, last week you all seen that video if you haven't watched it you got to go back and check it out uh, brought him here and he shot his first teal on sheet water it was a special special morning we did a two-man limit out of here and since then there's been about 20 or 40 on it hit and miss but I have not got to look at it since we had this cool down and all the new water we are not very sneaky right now my friend <laughs> but it certainly has grown in size due to the rain that's good is there anything on it there's not a lick man look at all the sheet water look at all the sheet water everywhere there's the hole out there it goes from about here all the way over there so it's grown but there's not one duck on it that's a bad thing when this happens when this happens so when we get a cold front and you see all these teal flying around when it's cloudy when it's rainy and the Sun pops out the next day this is Kansas this is my area it's not Kansas in general but my area it'll be amazing on a cloudy cold front day and then right when it gets sunny all them suckers are gone I have no idea where they go if they just keep trucking overnight south of us but this is the normal routine here in my area, unfortunately. Ah, ha ha, never mind, I just found them. They're farther out in the field on a smaller little piece of sheet water like this. They're just random small sheet water spots everywhere and that's where they are in fact. I'm gonna have to find my binoculars and take a look at them here. Well, 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 what have we here? <laughs> Oh, I'm a sucker for breakfast at McDonald's. The sausage, egg and cheese bagel, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we're at the big pond. All the corn is cut around it. This is where I tried mowing with my riding lawnmower and got it stuck in the mud. A couple videos ago. So I'm going to finish eating. We're going to go check it. All right, come on, Fred. Here, Fred. Save the best last bite for old Freddy. Here you go, buddy. That's a good boy. Fred, no. Over here. Fred, no. Over here. Fred, over here. Good boy. Come on. Load up. Good boy. Good boy, set. That's a good dog. Over here. Come on, crawl over, let's go. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Spend a minute or what? Sit down, good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. All right, almost to the pond, all the corn's cut. This little runoff area. It's a uh, little flue that runs from the pond, a little drainage. How cool would it be to actually flood it? It's actually holding a little bit of water. As you can tell, how cool would it be to flood that bad boy in this cut corn. In the cut corn, that'd be gnarly. That would be gnarly, Frederick! Almost there. Oh, oh. oh wow. Argo doesn't have any suspension. Smooth ride, Fred! Well, here we are. Not looking like anything's on here, Fred. We were able to get down here and actually mow all this now. It's mowed. As you can see, it dried up. Gerald was able to bring the tractor down here and get it done. Looks really good. Really nice down in here. I see zero ducks though. It's always a good sign. All right, we are unloaded again, loaded up, <laughs> and we're at the cornhole. Check it out. The corn is cut. Here's the cornhole. 
and I'm looking way out there and it looks like he was able, if y'all remember the cornhole, I filmed it, I probably made two videos of it back in August. Um, it's an irrigated little pond in the middle of this here cornhole. And uh, the biggest uh, what if, you know, the biggest question was, is he gonna, is the farmer gonna be able to cut all the way up to the pond or is he gonna have to leave standing corn around it because of how wet and muddy it was? Um, so, we're about there. I'm excited to see the outcome. I can tell Fred's pretty damn excited too, aren't you, buddy? <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you a good boy. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Four big ducks. Four mallards. Not a bad sign, I guess. Here's the cornhole. He actually cut all the way up around it. Look how pretty that is. I'm very surprised he was able to cut all the way up to it. These mallards went back in here. Man, this thing should produce. It really should. Let's give her a gander. Oh yeah. Fred, do not get in the mud. I'll be messing my new truck all up. Here's these mallards flying here. Here's the cornhole. It's all cut all the way around it. That's pretty. Now, all we need is the birds to find it, like more than four mallards. <laughs> She's a beaut, Clark. We should get some hunts out of this. You would assume so, right? I think it looked prettier when this, the corn was standing around it. It was like, oh, ooh. Now it's all cut and not as pretty, but I'm glad he was able to cut around it because it uh, it will in fact provide a better hunting scenario with it fully cut around it. So I'm gonna get out of here. These four mallards want in here pretty bad. Well, well, well. Come on, Fred. Let's go. Good boy. Dad's got to get a nice seat cover for that back seat for old Frederick boy. Oh, not a crazy hunt. I'm sorry to y'all that uh, we didn't shoot more than we did uh, and it wasn't because of bad shooting the birds didn't come back like I said there was about 200 an easy 200 on there yesterday afternoon and evening uh, one thing about my videos guys I've always kept it real with y'all I've always kept it real and uh, keeping it real is this video you know trying it you know if it works it works if it don't it don't uh, we all learn something take it home with us uh, but this is the same reason why I do not, we do not at Sand Hill Flyway, we don't guide teal hunting in September and October. We don't guide October duck hunting because of this reason. The amount of ducks that we do have during September and October in our area is enough for a decent buddy hunt here and there. But it's not enough to host clients in that lodge and provide good hunting for three days in a row what i'm saying is we run our hunt starting november because that's when the migration gets here um running any earlier in my area is a joke it, it would be it would be extremely stressful to me um it would not be worth your dollar to come do because you're not going to shoot your gun as much nearly not even an eighth as much as you do november december january and february so uh just to let you guys know i do have some room january february for sure in the lodge uh goose hunting only uh snows canada specs you name it we will have it uh chef bert will be cooking up breakfast lunch and dinners we clean your birds for you if you guys are interested please serious inquires only there's only a handful of spots left um, in January and February. Fill out the booking form, sandhillflyway.com. It is always linked down in the description as well. But again, again, not to beat the horse to death here. Uh, this is why. This is why I don't guide. A lot of people have called. A lot of people have called over the years and said, hey, we'll pay for a teal hunt. We don't care how it goes. No, no, no. I'm not just going to take your money because I know how it goes here. And on my hunts, 
when you're paying to come hunt, we're killing. Just got to wait till November. But um, your boy, I'm going to go scout some public tonight. Uh, I'm, I really want to try a good walk-in public hunt with y'all. Uh, you guys love those videos, so do I. I'm missing them. Uh, I'm just, I'm worried about how much water is on the public. I heard last from a buddy that it was very dry. And I don't know if this rain improved the situation or not. Like I said, guys, ducks, waterfowl, go pick you up. We have a ton of new hats over there. We have the golden chokes available. We have our mud boots available. The floating waterproof gun cases available. All kinds of new stuff over there. Our duck floaters are either available or will be available very, very shortly. I know we sold out of those pretty darn quick. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you haven't. But come on, Fred. You got to tell them bye. Sit. But until next time, Frederico.